Hi, welcome to the Hopin tutorial for a career fair that we're hosting for Achieve Career Pathways for Women. When you enter the URL for the event, you will be brought to this screen, which is the main screen. The screen will show the description of the event. It will show the sponsors for the event. It will also show the schedule for the event, the speakers, and the booths, aka the recruiters for the event. Now, how do you enter the event? You will enter the event by pressing this button here, enter event. Once you do that, it will take you to the reception area. In the reception area, you will be able to see everything that is live at the event for the moment. So currently we have the expo booths and networking segments live. You'll be able to keep track of the duration of the event. And you will also get to see to the right of the screen, the chats. You can have chats with everyone at the event. You can take part in the polls. You can connect with people individually by clicking the people tab clicking on the person, and then you can invite them to a video call, schedule a meeting, send them a message, or you can connect with them on LinkedIn or on whatever social media information they provided in their profile. This tab is very important, the people tab. That's where you make some of the one-on-one -on -one connections. The other thing that I would like to show you is when you go to the left side of your screen. You have the reception area, the stage area, which will show a red live button when we're live on stage, the networking tab and the expo tab. Now, for the networking tab, when you click on it, the system will ask you if you're ready. It will also ask for permission for your camera and your microphone, and it will automatically connect you to someone who is available to network. Once you're connected with someone, it will have a timer at the top of the screen. That timer will be counting down to whatever time it is that you have to network with each other. You can extend that time if you see fit. The other button that I think you should take note of when you're networking is the connect button. There will be a blue button at the bottom of your screen that says connect. And if both you and the other party press that button, then your information is automatically stored in each other's profile. And you can access that by going to your profile at the top right hand side of your screen. Now let's move on to the expo booth. The expo booth is where all of the fun happens too. Well, I feel like all the fun happens in every segment of this event. When you would like to enter your booth, I'm going to use the Achieve booth as an example. We have a few options. For this example, I'm going to show you how it is to be a moderator in a booth. We're going to click on the booth and the system automatically recognizes me as a vendor for the booth. If you look at the top here, it says toggle to turn on live sessions. Now when I toggle this, it will say presentation will start shortly. I have to share my audio and video, which I'm doing right now. You guys will get to see me. And once I do that, hi, you are now able to communicate with everyone in your booth. The important thing to see is this number here, one, shows that I'm the only one in the booth. However, when you're live and that number increases, you can start communicating with people in the booth. I would you know, have some kind of script that I would like to use to say hello and welcome everyone. And you can invite them on video to come and have a conversation with you. So if you do that, you just ask them, you know, hi, Sarah, do you want to join me in video to have a conversation? They will click that button to ask permission. You will see in the moderator panel a pop-up with that person's name. You press the plus button and then they will come on screen with you. You can remove them from screen by pressing the minus button that you will see at the bottom left-hand side of their picture or their video. 
The other booth option is the chat option. Well, first, before I go through the chat option, let me go through this. This is where the logo of your booth will be, the name of your booth. You will have your tagline, whatever social media information you provided and your website, and then you will have a description. This button here will click through to whatever website you gave to use. So it could be a job board, it could be your main website. It will click through directly there. You can have the booth chat. This is where you type, you know, hi everyone, you know, welcome. And it will pop up there. You can have polls. So if there's something you'd like to poll, this is where you do it. And again, you have access to the people tab where you can connect one-on-one -on -one with people. So right now you can see that there are two people in the booth while I'm recording. So that means someone's there watching. Hi, Heather, I believe it's you. Um, so we're going to go to other sections of the fair so that you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to press the leave button or before I do that, let me point out something. You can always mute yourself or turn off your camera when you're live if you have some kind of emergency. However, I implore you not to do that. What I would suggest is you turn back on your toggle mode because you will have a pre-recorded video already linked that people can use to find out more about your business. So in this case, I will turn the video back on. Easy as pie. So now, whenever anyone enters the booth, they can press play and they can watch the pre-recorded video. Now, if you'd like to get back to the main area, you can go back to reception and you can always see what's live. So enjoy the event. Thank you.